In order to translate content on your Magento web shop, there are several areas where translations take place. Category management, product management, CMS pages, static blocks, configuration, and the last area where you may need to look is inline translations. Inline translations can be used to translate text for buttons, labels, and other text which is inline translatable. During this video, we're going to show you how to set up inline translations and how to make the actual translations. The Magento inline translation tool will display the translatable text with red squares on the website view. In order to prevent your customers from seeing this and making bad translations, you need to set Magento to make sure only your IP address can activate or view this function. First visit what is myip.com and copy paste the IP address. Now go to the admin of Magento and log in. Go to system, then configuration. Then developer. And in the field, developer client restrictions, paste your IP address. If your company is maintaining translations from different locations, add the other IPs using the same procedure. Separate the different IPs with a comma. Then click Save Configuration. Now select the store view you would like to make a translation for. In this case, we're going to use the Dutch store view. In the top left of the configuration screen, select Dutch. In the same developer screen, unclick Use Website. And set Translate Inline Enable to Front End to Yes. Then save configuration. If we visit unify.nl, mouse over internet marketing, and when the booklet appears, enter translation. Then click store view specific. Then submit. Magento uses a caching system for translations. In order to see your new translation, you need to refresh the cache settings. For this, go to System, then Cache Management, then select Translations, and in the Actions tab, select Refresh followed by Submit. Now if we go back to the website and refresh the page, as you can see, the translation is now active. 